back to my channel. So, um, what am I doing today? So, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, a lot of people like to talk about the newest, the most, you know, wanted uh, palette that is currently out on the market or that's going to be out in the market. And I have to admit that there are certain palettes that I, you know, give into the hype because I either love the, um, you know, the co-creator behind it or um, I love the, the theme, the shadows, whatever the case may be. Um, so what I thought I would do is kind of do kind of not exactly the opposite, but something a little different. These are palettes I'm going to show you in the series. I'm going to make it a series. So these are going to be, um, I'm going to show one palette in each, in each video in the series that is a flashback to when I was obsessed with this palette, when it was the newest thing out on the market. Um, and you know, me continuously still using it to this day and that kind of stuff. Uh, and I'm going to try to even keep, um, I'm going to even try to include what is in the palette on my face for that particular video. So I don't know what I wanted to call it. I had an idea of palette flashback. Um, as the series. Let me know down below if you guys think that's a cool idea, something different. I just wanted to kind of be a little bit different than everybody else out there right now that's, you know, kind of focused on the new palettes that are like st starting to release or going to release soon and all that jazz. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just like any other consumer. I do get lost in the hype as well, but then, you know, new things come out every, every season and you kind of forget about the stuff that you have in your collection that you just kind of shove to the side. So this is going to be kind of uh, a series that I will be using the palette for the week and giving it some love and just re-loving it like I once did when I first got the palette. So does that make any sense? I know, enough chatter. So this is the palette for this, um, for this uh, episode. I don't know if you guys remember the Tarte Aqua Lilies palette. Sorry, I don't want to blind you. Um, came in a circular, uh, a circular packaging. There's gold behind it. Um, and they do call it the Aqua Lilies for Tarte. It's an Amazonian clay waterproof, uh, waterproof eye and cheek palette. Um, and this is one of the kind of like all in one palettes, I guess you could say. So you get a bronzer, a highlighter, a full size blush, and you get six eyeshadows, which I absolutely love this particular idea. I think it's a great idea for travel. Uh, you get everything you need for powder aside from your setting powder in this palette that you would you would absolutely need for a makeup look. Um, obviously, you're going to have to bring your own setting powder and your own eye primer, but the gist of what you need is kind of all wrapped into this one piece of packaging, which is a, a great idea. I have two other palettes from Tarte that are set in this design, and I absolutely love this design for traveling purposes, like weekend getaways type of thing. Um, I don't know if I would use this um, for an entire vacation week. Uh, I would I would have to test that theory out, and I will. I, I think I will. We'll see. That's why I'm, I'm trying to use this for a week straight to see if I can, you know, use this every day for a full week on a, on a vacation type of thing. So, um, so far I have been using this for about a week. I do love it for travel for weekend getaways. It's the perfect thing. You get everything you need. Um, and they are quite pigmented. You guys, I'm going to do some swatches so you guys can see, um, they are super, super buttery and they are very, very delicate very delicate. So, um, so you have some transition shades, you have, uh, some highlighting shades. I'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today. And I honestly think that it makes the perfect neutral eye color, um, or sorry, eye look. So that is just a few. Let me see if I can swatch another one here. Hold on, you guys. I want to do this green. So, I mean, they're, they're beautiful. They're not, um, extremely, extremely pigmented. Like they're not too pigmented, but they're pigmented enough that you can get a decent look out of them. And if you want to pop a color, maybe under the lash line, you have the blue that is in the palette. Um, no, I forgot to turn my phone off silent and now it's going off like crazy. And that's my own fault because I know I should have turned it on silent and I didn't. 
bad, bad me. I'm sorry, you guys. If you hear my phone, just ignore it. So um, these are pretty. This is like a, a beautiful shade that kind of shifts in the light. So it's it's kind of like a champagne, but it shifts to like a pinky purple. Look at that. Like I have it mixed on my lids with the with this white shimmery shade. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, I think they're absolutely uh, great quality. Tarte, I, a lot of people kind of um, have mixed feelings with Tarte, like for shadow for eyeshadow quality. Uh, some of their palettes are great to others and some are not. To me, I've never really had a major, major problem with Tarte. I really do enjoy most of their palettes. So I'm going to just show you what the bronzer looks like. So the bronzer is quite light. I, um, I don't know if you guys can see here. I'm a little too tan, that's why. Um, so the bronzer is quite light on me in particular right now because I'm super, super dark. But I like to use this as a transition shade in my eye um, crease. So you can kind of, even though there's an eye crease shade here, you can, you know, double up and use the bronzer to deepen up the crease that is not as deep as this one, uh, just to give it more dimension. Uh, and then the highlighter, which I find is a little powdery, but I can still use it. Um, is beautiful it's like a white champagne -y. like I can't even describe it I'm wearing it today on my apples of my cheeks and the high points of my face on the tip of my nose around my cubits well that's the highlighter I'm wearing the only thing I have to say about this palette the blush is beautiful too I'm wearing the blush too um, the blush is not too pigmented so you can definitely build it up if you want to I kind of like that in a blush because then if it's too pigmented up front you kind of don't have the control to give um, to kind of give you the pigmentation you want you don't want to look like a clown so um, you can also double up the blush for an eyeshadow crease shade because it is a matte um, and it is so it's like a coral it's like a, but I honestly you guys it doesn't come up very pigmented because it's supposed to be a blush so normally blushes or you know wearable blushes are a little more on the sheer side and I don't mind that at all I think it's a great um, it, it's a it's a great uh, option, especially when you're traveling. You don't want something, you know, too out there, I don't think. Anyways, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I prefer more blushes that are sheer because you can build it up uh, with your own, you know, the way you want it to build it up, not like, bam, clown cheeks, if you guys know what I mean. Uh, so I remember when this first came out, it was around uh, summertime. Oh, man. Was it 2011? I think it was 2011. And you know what? This palette is still good to this day. I still use the shadows. I still, they're still creamy. They're still blendable. They have not gone off at all. And I like using this for weekend getaways because it's got everything I need in one. It gives a beautiful, simple, you know, neutral eye color. Um, you get your pops of color in your blue and then in your blush if you want to use your blush for an eye look as well. And it comes with a highlighter and a bronzer as well, so you don't have to worry about packing for that. I just think that, you know, Tarte has not really come out with another one of these all-in-one in, in years. I think it's been years. The last one they came out with was the Showstopper one. And I don't have the Showstopper one. I do have the Starfish palette that's in the same, like, idea packaging. And I do have the the one with the snake on it. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? Anyways, those ones I'll definitely be cracking open and trying to use as well. Because I just think that these are beautiful shadows. And you can come up with really cute, simple eye looks that you can use with a pop of color. Like, I use this palette on my eyes today. That is all I used. Aside from the eyeliner and the, the primer. The shadows are all in, in this palette. And I love how it gives you a neutral eye look where you can you can kind of give the focus to your lips as your pop of color. It's just beautiful. I mean, you can even still use the blue under your eyes if you really wanted to and still add that pop of color on your lips. But I do like this that it has that, you know, option to do both. And it's, you know, compact, easy to travel with. I just remember how amazing this was when it first launched. Everybody wanted one. They sold out really fast. Um... I remember that my sister-in-law even picked one up and she loved hers. My niece broke hers and dropped hers and she was devastated. Um, I really do love this palette for, for travel and I love how it's got everything you need. If you guys don't have one of these all-in-one uh, palettes from Tarte, I would definitely go check them out. I believe the Showstopper one is still available and the one with the snake on it might be still available. I know for sure the Showstopper one is still available. But um, if you want to check out the snake one too, sometimes I see it online at Sephora, sometimes I don't. I think it depends on, you know, when they get in their inventory. But these type of, of idea palettes are really great for if you're a big traveler, if you definitely go on a lot of trips and you want something that you just don't have to think about. You just have everything in one in one spot. This is a great one for it. 
Tart, I believe, is also cruelty free if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it doesn't say here, maybe not. I don't know. Usually they have more natural products that they, um, natural ingredients that they put in their, in their products. So they're of a more natural-esque type of brand. Um, but yeah, so I, I love this palette. It is considered waterproof. On the back it says Amazonian clay waterproof eye and cheek palette. I don't know how waterproof it could be. Maybe it does, it's very resistant to sweat. Um, but I wouldn't say that like if you dunk yourself in the pool, it wouldn't come off. Um, I think it's just more resistant to sweat, and that is what, um, and that is what they mean by waterproof. I'm just in love right now with this, with this shifted, um, here, I'll show you guys. I'm in love with the shifted shadow. Like, it's, it's got, like, a neutral base, but I can't even describe, this is perfect for all over the lid on the days that you don't want to really try. Like, do you see that? It's very neutral, but when it hits the light, it's got this, like, purpley lavender sheen. It's just so, so pretty. Do you guys see that? Like, how cool is that? Anyways, I, I think that's probably one of my favorite shadows in that palette. Um, and you can mix and match the, the shadows on the lids. Like, you can mix them together, and they give you, like, your own unique color. So, if you guys still have, if you guys have this palette, crack it out. Like, you know, it's the perfect time. It's a waterproof formula. You guys are, are more, uh, it's more sweat resistant. Um... And they're more summery-esque colors, and you get everything you need in one. So I really do enjoy this palette. I really do remember how much I really wanted it, and when I picked it up, how happy I was. And I bring back a lot of sentimentality in that sense because I saved my money for it, and you know I went to go get it when I was able to pay for it myself. Um, I love Tarte as a brand, and I think that even though some people don't love all of their eyeshadow palettes, I've never personally had. Um, a problem with their eyeshadow palettes. I think they do a great job with their, most of their products that I've tried. Um, maybe there might be a couple of items in their in their whole line that I'm not really a fan of, but their palettes are not one of them. I think their palettes are probably one of my favorite things from from the brand themselves. So thumbs up for this one, you guys. If you do have it in your collection, definitely pull it out. Give it some love. Um, we just focus so much on the next new thing that we just forget about what we actually have. And I want this series to be you know, a reminder of what you already have, what you could already use in your stash, and to appreciate those items that you already have. Because at some point, that product was a new product to you, and you wanted it as bad as you want the other new palettes that are coming out currently. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys love this, you know, new idea I came up with. Let me know in the description box if you want to see more of the series I really would love to show you more and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.